stop! Stop! I'm waiting up! What is up, guys? Welcome to another video, and today we are back on Need for Speed Payback. And today, this is the first video I'm going to cover about the new DLC update, which, if you didn't already know about, the link will be down in the description to the video I made on that. Essentially, Need for Speed got a big ass update. I wasn't in yesterday, so I didn't get to cover it as soon as it came out. But there's one thing which I'm still yet to try, and that is something called catch up packs. Now, I wanted to do something a bit interesting. Where's my phone gone? I've lost my phone! Now, I wanted to do something a bit interesting, because obviously, with these catch up packs, that means that it takes a lot less time to get to 399 and I wanted to know how long it would take for me to get this runner class Evo up to 399 with full outlaw parts. Now, as you can see, I've got plenty of money, I've got plenty of rolls. So realistically, I don't think this should take any longer than 10 minutes, but I haven't used catch-up packs yet, nor do I know how, you know, friendly the rolls are after the patch. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, is test that exact theory out. I also want to say this is a really nice livery. The guy on the front made it there. You can see his name if you want to go ahead and download it on Xbox One. Um, but anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead, go over to the actual performance upgrade area, and we're going to see how fast this actually is. Okay, so we're here at the, at the um, tune-up shop. We're going to go ahead and press RB. This is all pretty new to me. I've only really hovered over the catch-up packs area. I haven't actually used any of them. So as you can see, level 16 for 160k, and that gives us level 16 parts. I'm pretty sure the top end is 17 or 18. I can't remember off the top of my head. That's really bad. I should really know that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and purchase that 162k, which realistically for me isn't that an awful a lot of money and that puts us straight up to three six seven i should have really started the timer a bit earlier that was my bad so what i'm now going to do is i've got my phone i'm going to start a stopwatch and i'm going to see how long it takes for me to roll enough till i have 399 outlaw parts so obviously it'll be fast forwarded for you guys but we're going to go ahead and see what this is like so yeah Drugs. Uh. Picture you in my condo in that top floor while we be making love, love, love. Yeah, that's not a thing. Let's make it happen. I've been waiting outside. Oh, I, I got time. I can make some time for you. Some time for you. I can make some time. Okay, and that took the total of 6 minutes and 15 seconds, according to my phone. So if we go over, we can see we have full level 18 parts with outlaw, you know, parts and stuff and the bonuses. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean we've got necessarily good perks. And I actually probably did discard a few parts that had really good perks just because I was trying to do that nice and fast. I didn't even use um, the buy section. I was only rolling then. And that's not how I'd usually upgrade cards. It was very trying to fast, fast pay, fast paced. Uh, but that took 6 minutes. 15 seconds, which I'm not sure if that's reversed for you. I don't know. But basically, it took six minutes. That is a huge improvement. That's ridiculously huge. Now, granted, did take me quite a few part rolls. I was sat here part rolling quite fast as well. I wasn't really analyzed what I was doing. But I've heard good things about this running class Evo in speed list. And that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do now. We're going to go into a speed list and see what this is like up against race cars. Um, because I haven't tried that yet. And again, I've heard good things. But bottom line is these catch up packs have saved my life. They could very well well be the best thing which was added into this update. Now before we even get into this, I do want to customise or tune my car I should say. So we're going to go ahead and turn up the steering sensitivity and make it a bit stronger I guess because we don't want to get rammed and stuff. Um, but besides that, I don't think we're going to do much more to the tuning. Let's go ahead and go straight into a speed list and see if things are much better. You know this shit's getting serious. <laughs> when I'm putting the headphones on. Right, so here we go, we're in this speed list like layout thing. I usually use my E30, that's kind of the, my car I use. But obviously, we've got this Runa Class Evo. It's at 399, it's got outlaw parts. Obviously, the perks aren't amazing, like I said a minute ago. But, that should still be relatively competitive. Let's hope the first race we get into is an actual race, and it's not off-road, and it's not drift. Drift. Thank Lord! We are actually in a sprint race, like a proper sprint race. Now, I think it's fair enough to say I'm not the only one um, that really thinks catch-up packs have really saved this game um, in terms of a lot of ways. A lot of the core problems I have with the game were, were to do with the catch-up packs. And funnily enough, I've never actually used a runner car in, in a speed list before, so this is going to be really, really interesting. I'm probably going to end up doing another video on this once I have a bit more experience and I know a bit more what I'm talking about because obviously this is my first time. But right off the bat, I mean, it's keeping up with the, this Evo's keeping up with that RSR, which is quite surprising. 
Ing. No, this this thing is fast. Holy shit. Yeah, five minutes really isn't that long to upgrade your car. I think the part rolls now are really one of the things which people are going to need to work on, which to be fair, if you play speedless anyway, that's not exactly an issue. And as you can see from the performance of this runner class car right now, it's a bit mad. And I'd argue that the runner class cars do have some of the best handling in the game as well. Imagine if the perks were fully maxed out and they were all actually good, like really good perks. I can imagine this would be a really strong, like, car a really strong loadout as a whole to be honest for some reason that the, the the livery didn't load load in which is a bit weird all i all i know is that we're in front of an rsr right now but not only that like 500 yards that's a bit ridiculous i know it's really refreshing coming back to this now and being able to use these cars like which i wouldn't usually give a chance because of how long it usually usually it took to you know upgrade cars in this game now I can actually mix around and ma match and, you know, get a good feel for all the cars in the game. And this opens up the possibility for undefeated on this game, which for me is huge. So I do know a lot of this video was just me ranting and, ra and rambling about, you know, catch-up packs and whatnot. But to kind of conclude this video, catch-up packs have saved the game in a lot of ways for me. It's got a long way to, you know, be a perfect new speed game or whatever. But it's one step closer and that's the main thing. And I can't wait, for, you know, for the next update whenever that comes. Hopefully they add more to you. You know all drive and hopefully you know we get more things but we want like private lobbies um but catch up packs thumbs up from me runner class cars in speedless at least for now also a thumbs up for me and i'm probably going to do another video on this in the future you know talking about runner class cars and speedless because that is very very weird look at the lineup rsrs and regueras and they all got smoked so that's today's video a bit more kind of like constructive weirdly enough um, but if you did enjoy make sure you go ahead and hit the like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace